Vážení diváci a hokejbalovní fanoušci, dovolte mi, abych vás přivítal jménem Českomoravského svazu hokejbalu a Mezinárodní hokejbalové federace IFBHF na úspěchní hrání v rámci mistrovství Sita v hokejbale 2017. Dnešní utkání proti sobě nastaví národní výběry Řecka a Kanady. Ladies and gentlemen, Bala Hokejbal of Polku. Welcome to the first game of Bala Hokejbal of Polku Championship. This afternoon team brings competent against Canada. Nyní vám přiblížíme sestavy obou můžte. Nejprve sestava Řecka. Now let me introduce to Greece. Number one, Alexander Pitskakis. Number 30, John Bridges. Number 79, John Adel. Number 88, Joshua Barbas. Number 6, Spiro Polarkos. Number 77, Mikhail Ineos. Number 19, Mikhail Pios. Number 45, Nikolos Prokofios. Number 36, Nikolas Tsatsakis. Number 13, Steve Alvo. Number 7, Mario Anikis. Number 42, Emmanuel Marakis. Number 27, Mikhail Bampas. Number 53, Robert Bampas. Number 13, Giaminos. Number 91, Costa Kakirios. Number 92, Peter Carbonios. Number 23, Philippe Clitrios. Number 71, Kevin Kuzmarniski. Number 11, Nicolas Pitskisko. Number 21, Adam Romanov. Number 74, Chris Beginnes. And we welcome you back to Tip Sport Arena, beautiful Pardubice, Czech Republic, for our final game of the day here in the 2017 ISBHF World Championships. This game will feature Team Canada against Team Greece. Earlier games today, the defending world champions, the Slovakians, defeated Team India 3-1. to one. And then in a game played just a few moments ago, just completed a few moments ago, the host, host team, the Czech Republic, defeated Switzerland by a score of six to nothing. It's the third game in our schedule, just uh, easing our way into it today. We've got 49 games to be played here in Tipsport over the next 10 days. We'll get into it in serious manner starting tomorrow, five games tomorrow, and then six Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's gonna be a long four days. We'll be doing five or six games a day from Tipsport 
And also there are games being played next door, what they call the small hall. In total, 85 games being played at this 2017 ISBHF World Championship. And Team Canada making their way onto the floor now. Big crowd on hand previously for that game between the Czech Republic and Switzerland right after the opening ceremonies. This city has embraced these 2017 ISBHF World Championships. As I mentioned in our last webcast, there were posters and billboards and signs all over the city. Everybody's abuzz with what's happening here. We've got 18 nations represented. Men's competition underway today. The women's competition gets underway on Saturday. Six teams in the women's, 18 in the men's. So we are in for a great week here in Pardubice. Beautiful day today, by the way, but 24 degrees, hardly a cloud in the sky. Just beautiful country here in the Czech Republic. A hockey crazy country, and what a time they were having in that last game. The fans were dancing and singing, and the drums were beating all through the game. Now it's time for our final game. There you see Team Greece. A moment ago, you saw Team Canada, of course, in the red and white. Greece in the white with the blue trim. Starting in goal for Team Canada, number 29, Anthony Flores. And for Greece, it'll be number 30. Here you see Flores. Greece will be number 30, Leonis Vretis. There we see Leonis Vretis. He had an exceptional tournament in Zug in 2015. And he will be a key to what success Greece may have here in 2017. Greece in tough. They're in a group with Canada, of course, also Slovakia, Finland, and India. No easy games anywhere with that group. And we're just about set to get underway. And we welcome you from wherever you are watching this evening, anywhere around the world. If you'd like to send a message to me, best way to do it is use my Twitter, G Scott Sports. To introduce myself, my name is George Scott. I'll be here all week covering games from Tip Sport. We will have all the games that are being played in this arena. G Scott Sports on Twitter. If you'd like to send me a message, love to hear from you. All right, we are underway in this game between Canada and Greece. Kelly busting in first. Ball came right through the crease, cleared away by Redis. Ball held over along the far boards. Plucked out of there by Gingera. In behind the goal. You're gonna get a holding penalty call early. Referee out at the blue line is calling a penalty on Greece. Mario Aguirus. I'm oh, sorry, number 27, not seven. Michael Barbas gets the gate for Greece. So an early power play just 20 seconds into the opening period. 14 Canada. See if they can take advantage and get out to a quick lead. They'll control it back at the blue line. Kelly, quick shot high over the top of the goal. Knocked down by Galakis and Galakis will clear it the length of the floor. Back to pick it up. Martel. Jordan Escott holding it outside the blue line. They haven't gained the zone yet. Now they do. Back to Marcus Power. Kelly. Escott. Back to Kelly. Back to Escott. Into the middle. Thrown into the corner. Trying one pass too many maybe. Kelly. The shot off the stick of the Greek player out in front. Back along the boards. Escott missed it. And Kelly's going to have to retreat back into his own end. Greeks are changing. 
Again, Canada has to gain the zone again. Kelly likes to just fire it in. Save made by Redis with the blocker. Rebound picked up by Adamu. Escott mishandled it back at the point. Tough pass. He's forced all the way back into his own end. So far, a great penalty kill for the Greeks. Time winding down in this power play. Just 33 seconds left to go. Team Canada will change its power play unit for this last 30 seconds. Over the blue line, now they get control. Throw it around, Kevin Reed was in front. O'Keefe plays it over to the side. Shot from the boards, that goes wide. Picked up on this side by Marchuk. Back to O'Keefe, O'Keefe shot is deflected. Ball goes high in the air, players can't find it. Player knocked down. It's gonna be an interference call. And Steve Alvo was dumped right in the slot area. The ball was bouncing around, he was trying to find it, got knocked down. And that's Kevin Reed's gonna go. Kevin Reed, a member of the Clarenville Caribou's ice hockey team in Newfoundland. Playing the, what's called the Central West Senior League. Champions of that league this year. Gulakis. Penalty to Greece has expired, so they are now on the power play. Minute 40 left to go in that man advantage. Galakis kind of lost his balance as he got to the blue line, but got it in. Flores comes out to play it, but Greece will control it. Galakis over to the right side. One-timer fanned on. Canada come up with the loose ball, clear it down the floor. Minute seven to go in the power play. Chance a moment ago for Chris Vaganis for Greece and just misfired on the one-timer. Went off the heel of his stick. Weak clearing attempt picked off by Greece. They'll get it back towards center. Adamo down into the corner. They'll take it in around behind the goal over on the far side. Picked up over there. Agreris back to Adamo. Go down low to the side of the goal. All kinds of traffic out in front. Ball comes through. Got by everybody to the boards, and Canada will clear it the length of the floor. They'll change up their penalty killers. Greece also changing up. 20 seconds to go in the man advantage. Adamo now gets it in over the blue line. Plays it back. Demo was covered. Does a great job to hold it in, but then Martel gets it out. Kelly busting down the right side. Tried to throw it in front. Cleared away to the boards. Canadian penalty has expired. We're back to even strength. So both teams with a power play opportunity here early in the first period. Neither team coming up with a great scoring opportunity. Giveaway just inside the blue line, taken there by Barbas for Greece. Into the middle for Arcalis, taken away, and Canada has it. Cross four pass. A little bit of room to operate, dumped into the corner. On it first is Kelly. Kelly, watched by Seferis, out in front. Again, the ball's just bouncing around. Nobody could find it. Out at center. Canada has to gain the line again. They do. Now they've got it. Kelly down in behind to Escott. Escott takes a pretty good bump along the boards. Marcus Power. That shot goes wide of the goal. Held in here on the near side by Kelly. Kelly towards goal. Right on goal. Brett has made the save. Didn't know where it was right away. Greece down the floor. This will likely go. No, they're going to wave it off. Not enough. Not enough mustard on it to get it in over the goal line. Hey. 
Stolen away by Barbas of Greece. Powers in there, threw it out in front. Was looking for Lauren Sell. That pass didn't work. Now Canada will bring it in again. Lauren Sell, his shot goes wide. Maristy towards goal. Redis again with the save. Didn't control the rebound. Lauren Sell down low. Maristy's out in front, doesn't get through. Lauren Sell's got it, turns, fires wide of the goal. Good pressure by Team Canada, but now back comes Greece. An errant pass, though, picked off, and Maristy has it taken away by Galakis. Galakis, long pass, full length of the floor. That'll go for flooring, 639. Played here in the opening period. No score between Team Canada and Team Greece in our final game of the day. And Anthony Flores in goal for Team Canada. Greece up the right side. Steve Alvo, he'll dump it into the corner. On it first, Martel. Martel turns, gets away from Alvo, and Martel straight up the center. Pass across into the high slot. Shot, big save by Vretis. Canada beginning to exert some pressure. Another shot, another save, kicked away. Jonas Ferretta has been very busy as of late. O'Keefe with a shot. That was deflected. Ferretta's tracked that down and made the save. Azevedo. Azevedo into the slot area. Ball's cleared to the corner. On it first. It was Adamo for Greece. Again, that long pass doesn't connect, and it'll be a flooring call once again against Greece. Field Canada beginning to come on a little bit in the last couple of shifts. They've had a number of good scoring chances. Paredes has come up big. Here's one of the better ones there on that turnaround. That was Stephen Dabadi. You can see Paredes with his best save. Ball is cleared over the glass. Faceoff will stay in Greece's end of the floor. Halfway through the first period, no score. Brad Yetman to take the face off for Canada, controlled by Greece. Stolen along the boards, Marchuk. Marchuk is out there with the two Yetmans, Brad and Nathan. Marchuk turning. Brad Yetman is in front. Wraparound attempt, Redis gets over, makes the save. No rebound. The good work down low by Marchuk. And Team Canada will change. Reed, Escott, and Power up front now. Escott reaching for it. Escott's got it again. That went off a leg into the corner. Escott held along the boards by Sephiris. Canada trying to knock it loose. Referee's whistle has gone. It's going to be a holding call. It'll be Sephiris. May have gotten away with a couple there. Referee finally said that's enough of that. And see it, Escott wrapped up in a beer hug down in the corner. And you see Escott with a chance, pulls it back and just couldn't get the shot away. Second power play for Team Canada. Comes at 8.25 mark of the first period. He win the faceoff. Just Kelly, come in the middle, Martel with a big shot and another save by Vredis. Escott just pokes it free. Jordan Escott along the boards. Escott lost it, kept in. Good play by Kelly. 
Martell following up on it. He's poke checked. Ball goes over to the far side. Nobody there for Team Canada. And Grace with all kinds of time. Pass in behind the Greek player. Finally, Kelly comes up with it. Minute nine left to go in the power play. Get it in over the blue line, but then turn it over. Cleared back down by Greece. Canada will change. They set up along the blue line. They'll get it in, gain the zone, play it back. O'Keefe. Patty O'Keefe. Marchuk. Back to O'Keefe. Can't get a shot through. Greeks clogging up the shooting areas. O'Keefe tried, that one off a stick, didn't get through. Comes back to O'Keefe. Shotgun and they score! They moved it around and finally found a lane. That's number 98, Brian Solga. Finally solves Redis. And it is one to nothing, 14 Canada on a power play goal. Greeks had done a great job of clogging up the shooting lanes, but Team Canada stayed patient. O'Keefe got it over to Salga, good pass on the one-timer. Red is unable to get over and cover that right post, and it is one to nothing, 14 Canada. You see head coach Ian Moores in that picture as well. The puck did go up into the mesh. So we'll get a face-off. It'll come outside the blue line. You could feel Team Canada coming on over the last few minutes. And then on the power play, great patience. And they are rewarded with the opening goal of this game. Tipped in, back to get it. Babbage. Up ahead to Marchuk. Getting onto it is Yetman. Nathan Yetman tried to throw it in front, went right through the crease out the other side, kept in by Team Canada. Along the boards. Nathan Yetman. Out in front, shot Vredis with another save as Team Canada beginning to pour it on a little bit right now. Marasti with a good opportunity. Nice set up by Yetman. Kelly, Lorenzell, Marasti, the forward line now for Team Canada. And they win the faceoff. Back at the blue line, move it in, Kelly. Ball bounces just over the top of the goal. Lawrence L has it. Team Canada controlling it in the Greek end of the floor. We'll flip it down into the corner. On it there is Kelly, Dylan Kelly. Cycles it down low again. Lawrence L plays it back. They try and throw it in front for Morasti. Picked off by Team Greece and cleared up along the boards. Away with it is Barbas. Barbas will dump it in. Back there first is Castus for Canada. Up through the middle, a bit of room here to work with. Kelly will backhand it in. Going into four check, Lawrence L. Getting it away is Pizzaculis, comes back to him. Pizzaculis will take his time as his team sets up. He will leave it. For John Adamo. Really nowhere to go. Gave it away at the blue line. O'Keefe threw it towards the goal. Screen was there. And that came off the stick of Adamo. And Redis had to make the save off his defenseman. But a good forecheck that time by Team Canada. Adamo had nowhere to go. Eventually just tried to throw it up the middle. It was intercepted. Great scoring chance for Team Canada. 
Kelly with a shot. That didn't miss by a whole lot. On at first, Gingera. Kelly has it. Kelly out in front. Kelly's out in front. Gets a shot. Wraparound attempt. Red has shut the door. They try and get it to Gingera again. So a couple more good chances for Team Canada. Kuzmarek, his shot, Kuzmarski rather, his shot went over the top of the goal in the first a few offensive opportunities for Team Greece. Canada right back. Escott tried to throw it in front. That was picked off. Into the slot, a shot. Again, it's blocked. Escott fanned on it. Again, Canada will keep it in. In around behind the goal. Out in front. Cleared away. Martel will track it down on the far side. Martel. Holds it, Martel cutting in front, lost the handle as he cut towards the middle. Canada will settle it down again, quickly up ahead. Power, Marcus Power, back to Kevin Reed. Reed had it poked away, but again, Team Canada maintained possession, he'll gain the blue line again. Down low, Reed, nifty little pass back. Escott with a lot of time, sliding out to block it. Was Adamo of Greece, good play. Canada throwing it around with confidence in the offensive zone. Marshall moved it ahead. Power trying to get to it, taken away by Clitronis. Clitronis down the right side. He's cut off. Going to be a penalty coming up to Team Canada. No, uh, sorry, delayed offside is the call. Referee's arm went up. Just a delayed offside. Dobbity had it taken away. Off the boards, kept in. Another shot towards goal. That went off. One of the Greek players in front and up and out of play. The faceoff will stay in Team Greece's end of the floor. Under a minute to go now in the opening period. Just the one goal, one to nothing. A power play goal for Team Canada. Win the faceoff. To the middle of the floor, backhand is put just wide of the goal. Tetronis, he lost it. Cleared back in by Canada. It'll be a flooring call against Team Canada. They did that from their own side of center. You see number 79, John Adamo. Another one of those players that Greece will depend on for a big game. So far holding their own against Team Canada, but you can feel Team Canada building momentum throughout this period. Be interesting to see the shots on goal when we come back for the second period. They'll have that posted for us. Greece needs to get another player on the floor. There's some confusion over who's going to come out. It's going to be Pizzacoulis. He wants to get off. Now they'll bring on Pompatinos. Shot scores from the slot. Just like that. Greece has tied it up. Right from the faceoff. Puck went in behind the goal and just bounces out in front. Flores tried to poke it away, but it went right onto the stick. John Adamo said they were going to need him to have a big game. Seconds later, he scores the goal to tie it with just 20 seconds left to go in the first period. It's a case of the goaltender just trying to poke the ball away, but he put it right onto the stick of Adamo. That goal coming very late in the opening period. As I said, Canada was coming on, had all the opportunities, and all it takes is one to score a goal. Canada coming in, trying to get a late one of their own. Couple of great chances. What a save by Ionis Veredis. 
as he robbed Dustin Kelly with about two seconds to go in the period. What a goal that would have been. Here's Kelly with the chance. Look at that save. And that rebound is still there and finally just poked wide as the buzzer goes. Flurry of activity here at the end of the first period. Players having a few words with each other as they head off. And referees need to step in and send the teams to their respective dressing rooms. Michael Pinio still having words with the Canadian bench. Referee trying to get him away. His teammates trying to escort him away as well. He doesn't want to go. He was unhappy about something at the end of that period, but in the end, they separate them. They'll go to their dressing rooms. Very good opening period here between Team Canada, Team Greece. We are tied at one after 20 minutes of play. We'll be back with the second period in the just under nine minutes from now, you're watching the 2017 ISBHF World Ball Hockey Championships from Pardubica in the Czech Republic. Vážení diváci a hokejbalovní fanoušci, dovolte mi, abych vás přivítal jménem Českomoravského svazu hokejbalu a Mezinárodní hokejbalové federace ISBHF na utkání hráčů v rámci mistrovství světa hokejbalové 2017. 
dnešní utkání proti sobě na Starý národní výběry Řecka a Kanady. Ladies and gentlemen, Balavo Kejlo a Polku. Welcome to the first game of Balavo Kejlo a Polku Championship. This afternoon team Greece competent against Canada. Nyní vám přiblížíme sestavy obou mužstev. Nejprve sestava Řecka. Now let me introduce you Greece. Number one, Alexander Pitskakis. Number 30, John Bretis. Number 79, John Adel. Number 88, Joshua Barbas. Number 6, Spiro Polarkos. Number 77, Mikhail Ineos. Number 19, Mikhail Pios. Number 45, Nicholas Prokopios. Number 36, Nicholas Tsatsatis. Number 13, Steve Paolo. Number 7, Maria Arikis. Number 42, Emmanuel Arakis. Number 27, Mikhail Bampas. Number 53, Robert Bampas. Number 13, Giaminos. Number 91, Costa Kakirios. Number 92, Peter Carbonios. Number 23, Philippe Clitrios. Number 71, Kevin Kuzmarniski. Number 11, Nicolas Pitskisko. Number 21, Adam Romanov. Number 74, Chris Beginners. Vážení diváci a hokejbalový fanoušci, dovolte mi, abych vás přivítal jménem Českomoravského svazu hokejbalu a Mezinárodní hokejbalové federace ISBHF na útkání hrání v rámci mistrovství světa v hokejbalu 2017. V dnešní útkání proti sobě nastaví národní výběry Řecka a Kanady. Ladies and gentlemen, Balá hokejbalová polku. Welcome to the first game of Balá hokejbalová polku championship. This afternoon team Greece competent against Canada. Nyní vám přiblížíme sestavy obou mužstev. Nejprve sestava Řecka. Now let me introduce you Greece. Number one, Alexander Pitskakis. Number 30, John Bretis. Number 79, John Adel. Number 88, Joshua Barbas. Number 6, Spiro Polarkos. Number 77, Mikhail Ineos. Number 19, Mikhail Pios. Number 45, Nicholas Prokopios. Number 36, Nicholas Tsatsatis. Number 13, Steve Paolo. Number 7, Mario Arikis. Number 42, Emmanuel Marakis. Number 27, Mikhail Bampas. Number 53, Robert Bampas. Number 13, Giaminos. Number 91, Costa Kakirios. Number 92, Peter Carbonios. Number 23, Philippe Clitrios. Number 71, Kevin Kuzmarniski. Number 11, Nicolas Pitskisko. Number 21, Adam Romanov. Number 74, Chris Beginners.
mentioned before how quickly the ball can come off the end boards and goalkeepers have to be very aware of that. Shots that go wide and find themselves out in front of the goal in a big hurry. Kalen Wild, member of the Southeast Prairie Thunder in senior men's hockey back in Canada, Manitoba. They play out of Steinbeck, Manitoba. Martel on the backhand, his shot didn't get through. Ferretis was very busy in that first period. Ionis Ferretis, the goalkeeper for Greece, was very good. Kept Canada to just that one goal, and then Greece able to get one back. Martel threw it out in front, sliding in, trying to get a shot away was Gingera. Ball over to the far side, on it quickly is Power. Throws in around behind the goal, on it is Escott. Backhand, Redis makes the save. As Kevin Reed came off the boards, got away a good backhand, but Redis took it right into chest protector. You see Reed picking it up along the half wall, steps out on the backhand, didn't get a whole lot on it. Redis stands his ground. Still a battle for it on the boards. Coming away is Adamo, number 79. He had his pocket picked by Marcus Power. Cannot able to hold it in. Powers got it along the boards, leaves it. Back at the point. O'Keefe back to Power, who's got it behind the goal. Adamo's watching him. Power. Turn shoots that went wide and from that sharp angle all the way to the far side and out. O'Keefe back to pick it up. Patty O'Keefe winding up. Actually, that was O'Keefe over on the right side who just played it in. That was Azevedo, who's carrying it out for Team Canada. Now they've got it down in the Greek end. Power along the boards. Neat little pass between the feet. The shot doesn't get through, however. Goes up and out of play. Faceoff will stay in the Greek end of the end of the floor. Almost said ice. Almost got one in there. There's that little pass off the boards. Clever little play. And then the shot off the stick of the defender up and out of play. Greece able to clear, but not out over the center red line. Now they'll pick off that pass in front and head up the floor into the middle. A little bit too far, intercepted. Canada will bring it in. Trying to get to it is Lawrence Hell. Ball slides all the way down to Veretis. Cool hold on. 2.53 gone, second period. Pass up ahead for Lawrence L. Got it between the feet of the defender, but just out of his reach. Couldn't go get it. Redis covers it. That's a big trapper out on top of it. Cleared in front. Adamo has it for Greece. Long breakaway pass, balls bouncing around. Marshall able to control it, get it up along the boards. It comes here on this side, Solga. He's got the goal for Team Canada on a power play back in the first period. And in over the blue line, shot, rebound, deflected just wide of the post. Fortier to Maraski. Down into the corner. Dylan Kelly back at the point. Got it to Fortier in behind the goal. Maraski. Maraski. Extra long stick. 
No shot on goal. Dumped in by Greece. Flores will cover it. That last chance for Team Canada. Right now locked in a 1-1 battle with Greece. Hustling back. Seferis. Down the floor, will it be enough for flooring? And yes, it will. We'll come back down to our left. Face off to the right of Moretis. Barbas gets waved out. Yetman won the face off. One timer from Wild. Just missed the goal. Team Canada controlling it along the boards. Trying to work it out in front. Shot went wide. In behind the goal, Yetman, he lost it. Abado. And Greece will move it out. Pass on the right side, a little bit too far for Kuzmarski. Now this is down the floor. Azevedo, Victor Azevedo, Team Canada, number 21, just saw. Battle in behind the Canadian goal. And Azevedo is all for closing his hand on the ball. Face off to the right of Flores. O'Keefe. Right up through the middle for Gingera. Got it to Martel. Martel with a shot. Veredis made the save. Martel again tried to throw it out in front. That pass missed everybody all the way down the floor. Team Candle will have to go back to get it. Martel, who plays with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms of the American Hockey League, farm club of the Philadelphia Flyers, part of Team Canada here. Ball in along the boards right down below us. Martel cleared it. That'll go down wide of the goal, so that will be a flooring call against Team Canada. Looking a little frustrated right now. They've had a lot of chances and just the one goal and as I say, find themselves tied. One, one with Greece. 5.58 gone second period. Escott took a stick in the face right from the face off. Power clearing it down. Escott trying to catch up to it. Goes right down to Veredas. He'll hold on to it. Bring about a face off to his left. Bit of a slow moving second period. A lot of whistles, a lot of face offs. Jonas Veredas. There's Kevin Reed. Talked about him a little bit earlier. Shot from the point does not get through. Marshall let it go. Power shot is blocked. 
Marcus Power along the boards. Power trying to get free in front. Can't, but it's going to be a penalty. That move drew a penalty against Greece. So Canada will go on the power play. His power working his way off the boards. You can see that free hand from John Adamo came over the top, grabbed power by the left arm. Anytime you take your hand off that stick and get it out in front of another player, the opposing player, you run the risk of getting that holding penalty. So again, Canada on the power play. Greece win the faceoff though. Ball down in the corner, battle for their escot trying to get to it. Power, Power swings it around here in the near side. Azevedo, Greece intercepted, clear it and going high in the air to bring it down was Kelly. Great job by Kelly to keep it on side. Martel plays it down low. Kelly with the one-timer scores! What a shot! Dylan Kelly from the point. Blisters at home. Some nice passing by Team Canada. Azevedo throws it back to the point from down low and Kelly just wires it home. Beats Radis cleanly on the glove side. So with their second power play goal of the evening, Team Canada has taken a two to one lead. Reese bringing it in over the blue line. And the shot was deflected, went off a Team Canada player. And Alpaiso, Reese trying to, I think I said Dylan Kelly, it's Dustin Kelly, 89. There's also Dylan Kelly, 19. Pinios lost it at center. And Pinios, the player unhappy with Team Canada at the end of the first period, not happy now either as he gets knocked down. And he's going to go back and have words with Dylan Kelly. Again, the officials have to get in. Will be a penalty on the play to Team Canada. Jacques Morasti will draw two minutes, so Greece with a chance to respond to Team Canada's power play goal. Shot from outside, blocked by Reed. That shot got through, sat there. Elbow shot went wide. Team Canada away short handed. This time it is Dylan Kelly, 19. We'll clear it in. Minute 25 to go in the man advantage. Morasti in the penalty box, 14 Canada. Alvo trying to bring it in. Alvo busting through. Alvo with a shot. Big save made by Flores. The ball goes out of play off the blocker of Anthony Flores. Well, there you see the talent of Steve Alvo. He's a 19-year-old. Oh, well, actually, he shot it. Why? It didn't go off the blind. I thought Flores had made the save, but the shot went wide. Went off the defenseman's stick. But either way, you see the defenseman coming in there, getting the stick in the way. Alvo was a sensation back in Zug as a 19-year-old playing with Greece. Now as a 21-year-old, trying to take his team to the next level. Jam to the side of the goal, held out by Flores to Tronis. Trying to jam it in that short side. 25 seconds to go in the power play. He 
Yetman, Marshall, Solga, and Yetman. Brad and Nathan out there to try and kill off these last few seconds of the Greek power play. Clitronis lost the handle. Ball went to the boards. Clitronis following up on it. Clitronis has it again. Tried to feed it out in front. Back of the point. Across. Big save by Flores. And it goes out of play. Good shot by Mario Aguirres. This time you could see Flores moving to his right. Tracked that one all the way. Reflected off of him up and out of play. Team Canada win the faceoff. Clear it the length of the floor. Bouncing ball. <laughs> <laughs> the Greek goaltender Redis had a little bit of trouble with that Just a dozen seconds to go now in the penalty to Muraski of Team Canada Greeks had some good possession Steve Alvo penalties now over we're back to even strength Alvo tried to play it off the boards to himself Cleared down the floor, no flooring. There first, Danik Martel. Dangerously out in front, almost stolen away. Now taken by Kuzmarski. Back at the Team Canada blue line, Azevedo. Over on the right side, in front, Martel. Tried to lay it off on the left side. That went off, stick one of the Greek players. Azevedo off a stick up and out of play. Under five to play in the second period. Canada with their second power play goal of the evening. Lead it two to one. Dustin Kelly with the power play goal. Adam Romano, Team Greece. In your picture there. Face off one by Greece. Reed comes up with it. Kevin Reed holding it along the blue line, dumps it back in behind the goal. Marcus Powers got it out in front, was trying to return the favor to Reed. The ball goes out of play. Face off will stay in Greece's end of the floor. Again, it'll be Escott to take the face off for Team Canada against Giannimos. Ball goes high in the air and out of play and yet another whistle. I mentioned earlier we were having a lot of whistles here in the second period. That trend continues. Nicholas Wampotinos. Number 44. This time, Kanda wins the faceoff, and the shot from Kalen Wild just missed. Reed is in there looking for it. Reese come away with it. Get it out as far as the neutral part of the floor. No further, and they'll pick it off, bring it back in. Shot goes in wide of the goal, then hits the back of the goal on it first. is Giannimos into the middle shot did not get through then finally cleared away it was a chance for Nicholas Seferis of Greece had his stick checked at the last second now they'll bring it in Aguirre in behind the goal wraparound attempt Flores couldn't find it whistle goes referee out Beyond the blue line has called a penalty. It'll be Kevin Reed's second penalty of the game. It's going to be for slashing. Once again, Greece goes to the power play. There is Kevin Reed. And again, his second penalty of the game. Picked one up earlier for interference. 
vyloučen hráč Kanady číslo 7 Kevin Ray. Dvě minuty sekání. Paganis. Paganis takes the one timer back to the point. That's blocked and it goes out of play. Lauren Sell with a good block for Team Canada. Kuzmarski, Alvo. And Barbas up front for Greece. Alvo's got it. He's dangerous. Steve Alvo. Back at the point. Back into Alvo. Shot just goes wide. Again, they try and get it to Alvo. Again, the shot doesn't get through. Down into the corner. Kuzmarski. Picked off by Canada. Ball off a stick. Touched by a high stick. That's the reason for the whistle. Face off will be right at center. Minute seven left to go in the Greek power play. Two Yetmans up front again to try and kill this off. For Team Canada, Brad Yetman won the face off. That will allow Canada to clear it the length of the floor. Pitsakoulis bringing it up the floor slowly for Greece. Good little pass at the blue line. They gained the blue line, but picked off by Yetman, who sends it the length of the floor. Nathan Yetman. Younger brother will get there first for Team Canada. Lost it down in the corner and Greece is away. Greece to the blue line and over. Tried to feed it in front. Pass just out of the reach of Petronas. And again, Canada will clear it. Just 15 seconds to go in the power play now. Adamo. Brought in over the blue line by Agaris. Agaris down low. They feed it in front. Petronas couldn't get a stick on it. Penalty is now over. Team Canada is back at full strength. Kelly with a burst of speed. Kelly breaking in. Fidris makes a save. Vretis. Day one, folks. Ball is touched by somebody at the Team Canada bench. You see that run up the right side by Kelly. Gets around the defender, Adamo, and then pokes it just wide of the goal. Faceoff controlled by Greece, Pinios. Long pass up through the middle. That found Makovelos. Brought in. A minute to go here in the second. Martel. Yannick Martel busting in. Martel with a shot. Vretis with a big save. A couple of great individual efforts by a couple of Team Canada players that time. Yannick Martel. We mentioned plays professional ice hockey in the American Hockey League. With good speed, splits the defense here, gets between the two defenders and gets off a pretty good shot. Vretis makes the save and then pounces on the loose ball. Right from the face off, a shot goes wide off the stick of Shaq Marasti. Reese breaks out three on two. Oh, but a great play by William Marshall to get that stick in there. Power has it. Power with the big slapper off Redis. Came out in front. Net is knocked loose. And they're going to blame Team Canada for knocking the net off. So the faceoff will come outside the blue line. So that was the initial indication. Yep. 
That's where they're going to bring it. Down to 26 seconds left to go in the second period. It's a tight game, just two to one. Kelly and Romano jousting a little bit. To the left of the faceoff dot. Again, Greece win the faceoff. They've been very good on the faceoffs in this game. Lauren Sell. They were looking for Kelly on the left side. That pass didn't work. Lauren Sell couldn't knock it down. Comes right down to Flores. Who will give it to Marshall as the buzzer goes. So just the one goal in that second period. That by Dustin Kelly of Team Canada on a power play. And they lead it 2-1 to one after 40 minutes of play. A very close game here in Paradebitsa. We'll be back with the third period. We'll see what drama that brings. In just under 10 minutes from now, you're watching the 2017 ISBHF World Ball Hockey Championships from Pardubice in the Czech Republic.
KYD s jednou výrobce cetlovičů v Pardubicích a Chrutinu. Věříme v kvalitu, proto jsme hrdým sponzorem pardubického hokeje. Staňte se i vy členem našeho týmu. KYD s jednou výrobce cetlovičů. Two to one Canada after two periods of play, a slim one goal lead over Team Greece as we head into the third period of our game, 15 minutes to play. Then you get a look at the Team Canada bench. A couple of power play goals, 14 Canada. Stake them to just a one goal lead, but Greece hanging tough. Ionis Redis, there you see him in goal for Greece, has been spectacular at times, kept his team in it. 
Flores in goal for Team Canada. Not quite so busy, but he's been good as well. Team Greece making their way across the floor. There is Anthony Flores. He'll be expected to come up big in the third period. To try and prevent a Greek upset here in our final game of the day at the Tipsport Arena in Pertabitsa, the Czech Republic. Face-off controlled by Team Canada, but taken away. John Adamo, who has the goal for Greece in this game, has it into the middle. First chance for Greece, and that may have got part of the post. Tough to tell exactly what happened, but I think Flores got a piece of it, and then the post took care of the rest of it. Well, Greece with the early chance. They look for the equalizer, comes in to Flores. Maybe we'll pick it up on the replay and see just what happened here. Defender gets on the wrong side of the Greek player. No, it did not get to the post. It was Flores did look behind him, which made me think maybe it got behind him, but he kept it out in front off the blocker. You see him look over his right shoulder, but the ball had come out to his left. Patrick O'Keefe with the ball for Team Canada. And he has a very interesting story and we'll get a chance to tell it in the third period. Maybe we'll tell it right now as Canada's call for flooring. O'Keefe was here with Team Canada. Not here, but at the World Championships in Zouk two years ago, but was not medically cleared to play. He had been having some, some health issues. He'd been to a doctor, told him there was a rear heart defect and he was going to have to give up competitive sports altogether. He came to Zug to the World Championships to be with his team. Got a second opinion when he went back to Canada about his condition and was in fact told he'd been misdiagnosed and that he was given the all clear. And he is back playing this year. He also plays hockey in the Senior hockey circuit in Newfoundland and Labrador, back in Canada. Quite a few players from that province on this team, Canada. Seven in total. And throw in the head coach, Ian Moores, and the Rock, as they call it, well represented here in Pardubica. One of the referees here at the tournament as well from Canada, Ian Hollett. Also a Newfoundlander, so throw that into the representation mix. And around behind the goal, taken there by Solga. Over to Marshall, Lawrence L. Dumps it in, goes in to chase. He'll get there. Good speed by Lawrence Helm. Outrace the Greek defender to get to it. Now comes up with it. Trying to get out in front. Knocked down. Keeps going. Fan on the pass. Still has the ball, though. Now he'll cycle it back down low on the backhand. Rumpatino's there for Greece. Can't come up with it. Kelly out in front. Kelly with a shot. Ball still loose. Backhand. Another save by Redis. He made two in that sequence. Now taken away by Aguirre's down the floor. And flooring will be the call against Greece as Redis with two more big saves. On the first shot and then on the rebound. Quick look there at Costa Cacavellos, Greece number 91.
Adamo behind the goal. Kalakis up ahead. Got it to Barbas. Barbas will clear it in. Babbage back for Canada. Battling down in the corner. Ball comes loose. Cleared away by Canada. Under a bit of pressure now. Canada will send it the length of the floor. And back down to her left. Just 250 gone here in the third period. Again, just a slim one goal lead. 14 Canada. The longer it stays close, the more you give Greece a chance. The pressure is on Team Canada. They did not have a good showing in Zogan 2015. Alvo was shot. Hit a foot and went high in the air over into the far corner. Greece comes up with it. Lompatinos. Down into the corner. Paganis, Chris Paganis. Finally has it knocked off his stick up along the boards. Martel battling. Yannick Martel does a good job to come away with it. Here's Martel. Martel with some room. Made the pass across, knocked out of the air by Kelly and put why That puck was a good two feet in the air and he got a pretty good shot away. Martel trying to bust out in front, knocked off his stick. Alvo up ahead. Catching up to it as a demo, but Team Canada come away. Reese was changing, Escott's in, he shot wide of the goal. May have gone off Hervoneris. Escott behind the goal, power. Setting up back there, Power. Trying to get it out in front, Escott's out in front to get it back to Reed. Reed with a shot. That was blocked by Adamo and goes up and out of play. Or rather by Pinios, number 19. You see this run by Martel, good speed, and there's the ball up in the air. Kelly got a good piece of it, but couldn't direct it on goal. And here's Escott's chance. And there you see number 92, Peter Carvaneris, sliding in and getting his stick in the way of that attempt on goal. Face off, one cleanly by Team Canada, O'Keefe. Power, he'll shoot it. That went off of Mikhail Barbas, out of play over in the far side. Barbas felt that one off the ankle. Members of Team Canada, the women's team, they'll start action on Saturday when the women's competition gets going. Power shot again blocked. Greece has done a great job of blocking shots in this game. And those have gotten through. Redis has taken care of most of them. That one does get through, and Redis takes care of it. Scott didn't get a lot on that shot as it ball was bouncing a little bit as it got to him. Marcus Power, number nine, late addition to the team. That's why he doesn't have his name on his jersey. He didn't get him on the team in time to get the jersey printed up. Escott out in front. That went off the toe of the stick of Ezevedo wide. Wasn't happy with that. Reed, power with a shot. Redis with another good save. Team Canada threw it around nicely, but couldn't beat the Greek goaltender. There he a chance of one extra pass of beauty. And power got a lot on that. Marshall, got it up ahead, and they'll throw it across the floor to Shaq Marasti. Marasti will clear it in. 
Canada will go to work in the offensive zone. Tried to throw it out in front. Pass was picked off. Stick went flying. No call. Play continues on. Team Canada come up with it. Up to Morasti. Morasti. They've got it in over the blue line. They've gained the zone. Flipped ahead. Nice little play. Lauren Sell. He tried to give and go. Got it back to Lauren Sell, but he couldn't get it out in front. Taken away. Morasti holding on the end of his stick and then cleared away by Greece. Cacabellos here on the near side to Barbas. Had to get it back to Cacabellos. Barbas. Ball went out of play. It's number 88, Joshua Barbas. He's also number 53, Robert Barbas. Playing on the Greek team. Brad Yetman and Kevin Marchuk of Team Canada. Penalty. Let's correct that. We got an old replay. <laughs> We're going to stay five aside. Looked up at the big score clock with the screen on it. They showed a Canadian player in the penalty box, but they were, that was on video from earlier. Alvo getting into it with Brad Yetman. Unhappy. Now Yetman comes back, talks to Alvo. Alvo thought he got Tip of the stick in the leg, bit of a spear, and in fact, Yetman is going to go. Elbow showing, demonstrating out on the floor right now how we got a little chop on the leg. Referee picked it up. So Brad Yetman gone to the penalty box. Big moment in this one, 626. Gone in the third period. Canada clinging. A two to one lead. Power play here, 14 Greece. Chess, Elbo. Back to Kuzmarski. Gulakis Kuzmarski with a shot high over the top of the goal. Greece come up with it. Alvo, back to Galakis. Galakis, wide of the goal. On it first, Kuzmarski. Galakis, Kuzmarski. They'll go down low, Alvo. Alvo's out in front, actually. They tried to get it through the crease. Comes all the way back to Galakis. Good pressure, chance for Alvo. It was blocked, did not get through. Lackus. Here in the near side. Vaganis scores! Chris Vaganis, not sure if it was tipped. Stepped in off the left boards, got away a good shot. We are tied, here we see, this is Vaganis. His shot, don't think it touched anybody. I think it's just a great screen set up in front. Another look at it here. The screen, Joshua Barbas took the eyes away from Flores. We are tied. 2-2, two, two. 7.36 left to go, about halfway through the third period. Power play goal. Canada coming back, trying to get it in front for Kevin Reed. It's Marcus Power. Power has it taken away. Back comes Greece. Renewed enthusiasm here. Shot 
Saved by Flores, looked around. And it's going to be a penalty to Greece after that opportunity. Philippe Clitronis will go. He had the chance here. Being all alone as Greece building momentum. See Flores looking around. Ball came to the corner, and there's the push by Clitronis and the penalty. Maybe frustration at having missed. But what a chance. Reese tied it up, and seconds later, you could just feel that they were coming on. The confidence building in this Greece team. And now they'll have to fend off a Canadian power play. Escott with a shot, did not get through. That was blocked, didn't get to the goaltender. Escott has it again. Jordan Escott. Kelly, you got the last power play goal. Moreski. Kelly, again, Reese doing a great job blocking shots. That was Alvo that time. Kelly, Escott, down low, out in front for a power. They tried to get it to Martel. He was all tied up, and away comes Greece. Barbas, his shot. That missed. On it first, though. It was Arcalis. Arcalis short-handed with a backhand. Gets his own rebound. Arcalis, the goaltender is down and out. Alvo shoots. That just missed. What chances for Greece short-handed. Arcalis in behind the goal. Canada looking completely disoriented, disorganized. And Greece looking terrific. Here's Martel, shoots that hit the side of the goal. Greece do not get it out. O'Keefe, power. Escott takes it off the boards. 28 seconds to go on the power play. O'Keefe, power, down low, out in front. Would have been interesting if that had gone in. The net was off by a good six inches or more. There you see. Red is putting it back. What chances here for Greece? You see Flores was down and out. And Greece just had Canada running around. Here's the, maybe the best chance. Elbow, put it wide, looking far side. All that coming short-handed. Off the boards, and Solga holds it in. Saved by Redis. Solga working off the boards. Shot in front, another big save by Redis. Whistle is gone. Explaining down below what happened. Great chance for Canada. Moresti just couldn't get that ball to settle down. And they are going to move the face off outside the blue line. Ball knocked down. Kalen Wild. Moresti backhands it in. Ball comes back to Moresti. Doesn't shoot it. Pass just a little bit too far from Wild, who was streaking in through the middle. Kept in by Castus. Lauren Sell sliding along the boards. Knocked down by Kelly. Back to Lauren Sell. Moresti with a shot. Redis with another save. Under five minutes to play in the third period. We are locked at two. Latonis lost it. Now he gets it back. Latonis out in front. 
shot from Rompotinos and a big save by Flores. They try and get it to Marasti in front. Out of his reach. Marasti takes a pretty good bump. Reese come away with it. Pass off the boards just beyond the reach of Vaganis, who scored that tying goal. Vaganis with a wild swing at the bouncing ball. Strike one. Up around the boards, Martel. Chips it down, getting to it first is Martel. Look at the speed of Martel. Martel out in front. No shot on goal for Team Canada to that. Michael Barbas drops it back. Shot towards goal, they score! Just a little drop pass. Breaks the tie. Nicholas Pizzacoulis beats Flores with a hard rear shot. Oh, hang on, that may have been deflected by the Greek player coming in front. Pizzacoulis took that shot. Let's see who they credit with the goal. And it was tipped. That was number six, Spiro Gulikos, who gets the go ahead goal for Team Greece. Power with a shot. Now Canada's in trouble. Pitsakoulis took the shot from the point. I initially thought it had gone straight in, but it was deflected. Great job by. Gulikos, power shot went wide. Just beyond the reach of power. Canada needs to press now. Just a couple of minutes left to go. Shot! Kevin Reed has tied it for Team Canada. As we go back and forth. Ball was thrown around nicely. Came to Kevin Reed in that right circle. He beats Redis. Marasti gives it to Reed over on the right side. And Reed with the quick one timer. Three, three. We got a good one going to end day one of these championships. We'll start tomorrow morning at 8.30 in our next game. Well, we should be in for a great finish in this one. By the way, 8.30 tomorrow morning will be Cayman Islands and Armenia, the B group. Here comes Team Canada again, put just wide by Lauren Sell. Martel. Left it for Kelly. Kelly able to keep it in. Penalty has been called. The referee over on the far side signaling a slash. It's going to be Stevie Alvo. Minute, 21 seconds left to go in the game. Canada will go on the power play. Tough time to take a penalty. Team Canada has called a timeout. Coach Ian Moores wants to talk this one over. As they set up their power play. After a tough finish in Zug, finishing fifth.
Team Canada revamped, reorganized, and wanted to come to Paradebitsa with a new outlook. A loss or even a tie to Greece to start things off would not be the way they wanted to start this tournament. These championships. But they've been given an opportunity here. Minute 21 to go in the period. Team Canada will have all that time to work on the power play. They try and pull this one out. Greece win the faceoff. Clear it down the length of the floor. Azevedo. Escott. They gain the zone. Dustin Kelly with it. Back to Escott. Escott winds up, doesn't shoot it. Back to Kelly. No one-timer there. Escott with the one-timer. Redis, read it, got over, hung on to it, no rebound. And there's Escott shot and Redis read it. it. Was in great position, took it right in the chest. Team can to win the faceoff. Kelly. Kelly. Escott down low to the side of the goal and went through the crease. Out the other side and Greece is on it. Now they are away down the right side. They'll clear it down the length of the floor. Half a minute to go in the game. Tipped out by John Adamo. So Team Canada did not gain the blue line. Down to just 26 seconds left to go. Crucial face off right here. Greece moved it out. Team Canada came away with it. Azevedo. Azevedo down low, threw it out in front. Cleared away smartly by Greece, and here they come down the floor. Time running out. Greece with the shot. Flores makes the save into the corner to Kelly. Just six seconds to go. Escott with a shot. The ball goes off a stick high in the air. We're down to two ticks of the clock. Looking over in the penalty box area. Steve Alvo is looking very relieved right now. He was the player picked up that penalty for Greece with a minute and a half to go. Minute 21 to be exact. And it looks like you know, Greece will hold off. As they say, just two seconds left to go in this one. And that's it. So we are tied at three after regulation. And with the score tied 3-3 after regulation, they will go to a shootout to determine this one. The coin toss to see who will get to go first. It looks like 
Greeks will go first. I believe it's three shooters. Nicholas Pizzacoulis up first for Team Greece. Here we go. Pizzacoulis, the first penalty shot. And he lost it, never got that on goal at all. As he tried to go to his backhand, ball rolled off his stick, came in slowly. Team Canada will start with Danik Martel. Like Pizzacoulis, he'll come very slowly towards the goalkeeper. Lost his balance. Well, neither player really getting away a shot. Martel slipped as he made his move. Took him forever to get there. As you see, he tries to fake left and go right. His foot actually just kind of tipped his own heel. Didn't slip. Tripped himself up. So neither team successful on their first opportunity. Kevin Kuzmarski started, but they weren't quite ready. Now we're set, Kuzmarski. Neither team successful on their first shot. Holds it, forehand backhand, puts it wide. it is again. Looks like he's going to shoot it there and goes backhand back to the forehand and this is the goal. Dustin Kelly got a power play goal for Team Canada. He'll take their second shot. He elects to come in wide. Kelly backhand scores! Redis got a piece of it with that left pad. The puck bounced over the pad and into the back of the goal. So if I'm right in reading the referee's instructions, that it would be three on or three penalty shots. This would be a must. Barbas slowly kept out by Flores. And that's it. That is it. Team Canada escapes an overtime shootout victory against Team Greece. Just the one goal scored. That by Dustin Kelly. Flores, perfect on his three opportunities. And Team Canada get away with one. And I'm sure they will look at this and regroup team canada will play next just checking schedule actually not let me bring this up on my other piece of paper where i can see it team canada has tomorrow off they will play next on saturday at two o'clock against finland Greece plays tomorrow 1.30 versus India. Okay, that's where those teams are. So Greece will pick up points with the tie. Team Canada with the victory. We get the player of the game announcements. We're going to be back tomorrow morning, 8.30, bright and early, here in Paradibica, game between the Cayman Islands and Armenia. And that will be followed by Portugal versus the USA at 11. And then there's plenty more games on the schedule as well. All right, first day here at the... 2017 World Ball Hockey Championships are in the books. Three games have been played, 46 to go here at Tip Sport. We'll be back tomorrow morning, as I say, at 8.30. Thanks so much for joining us. My name is George Scott. You've been watching the 2017 ISBHF World Ball Hockey Championships. We are in Paradibuzi in the Czech Republic. See you tomorrow morning, everyone. <laughs>